Ready. All right, so Wild Salmon, uh, it's going to rotate between uh, Sakai, King, uh, right now we're starting off with King Salmon. Uh, it's a uh, sushi rice cake, it's a combination of uh, sushi rice and uh, uh, green bamboo rice uh, mixed with a uh, combination of uh, sugar, uh, mirin, and rice wine vinegar, and pickled ginger. Um, <coughs> Gai Lan is uh, Chinese flour and black chocolate, uh, so it's going to have a nice bite to it. It's a little bit uh, stronger flavor than bro American broccoli. Uh, a little bok choy on there as well. Um, a lemongrass carrot yuzu puree. And then the uh, salmon itself on the skin has a, uh, a fine miso glaze on it. Uh, to finish it. Uh, lamb loin chops. Um, so uh, two for a full, one for a half. Uh, there's a few different, this is a Mediterranean inspired dish. Uh, we have a uh, Bulgarian feta, which is a really strong, pungent feta. Uh, mixed with garban or, uh, garbanzo beans, uh, Where is that? herbs. Hmm? Where is that for you talking about? Bottom. This? Uh, <laughs> um, baby squash, which is going to change throughout the season from patty pans to uh, sunburst, baby zucchinis. Um, zucchini fritters. Uh, so those are not gluten free. Those have uh, egg. Uh, flour, baking powder, uh, and then uh, zucchini in them. Uh, carrot tomato salad with an oregano, uh, olive oil dressing, and then uh, garnish with red pepper vinaigrette. You put the sauce on that again? Uh, it's a red wine dummy. Red wine dummy? Uh, the other dish is the jackfruit tamales. So it's, uh, the only that's the dish we ran all throughout restaurant week. We uh, upped it a little bit on a few different things. So the uh, garnish on the top is a, uh, a vegan chicharron. So it's uh, we made we flavored it uh, mole flavors. So it has cocoa in it, uh, chili, cumin, garlic, onion, um, and then we dusted that on that. So it's going to be a nice crispy element on that plate. Uh, and instead of going with the uh, the red sauce uh, over the top of that, we switched it to a uh, verde, which is a tomatillo green sauce. Uh, and the pico de gallo is actually going to be a more traditional uh, tomato-based pico de gallo instead of the mango. Just ate a little too sweet with the mango. And then uh, the uh, mil de coco. That is uh, a product that we buy from Mindo Chocolate, just uh, you know, down the street in Dexter. Uh, so it's actually. Don't think chocolate, think more balsamic almost. Uh, it's actually made from the fruit of the cocoa bean. So around every cocoa bean, there's there's a fruit that is, and that's what they, this is made with the actual fruit. So it's gonna have kind of some chocolate notes, uh, but it's gonna be more of a, like a, a, an aged balsamic. And I mean, the texture of it is very, very thick, like a you know, 20 year old uh, balsamic. Uh, the rest of uh, is next week.